You know this bottle of wine they were drinking is good because it had dust in the bottle. <laughs> 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 I think that just means it's been sitting there for a couple months, though. That's classy, though. <laughs> that's, cl- that's some classy shit. Mm-hmm. That's for our wine cellar. Mm-hmm. I put bitters in it. Ca- no, you didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> Last episode. I'm drunks and dragons. We put, we put ice cubes into the wall. We did do that. I'm testing all my voices. I'm going to play a lot of characters tonight. You guys watch out. Oh, Toby's yeah, his new idea is, is disguises. That's his whole thing tonight. Oh, man. He did a boss tonight. Fucking Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> Duncan. <laughs> Go to Duncan's Donuts. <laughs> oh, boy. You had to you had to like grab onto your, your like um, anchor phrases, mm-hmm. which Later. for me in the Boston accent is Ravia. Ravia. <laughs> um, Swamp Scott. Minus of all is the harbor. The the harbor. harbor. Gotta right. throw some fucking dice. Friends, you should call your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> My family's from New Hampshire, which is like a softer. So it's like park the car in the car park. Car park. Car park. You. We drove that over the Tampa pond. Bridge. <laughs> Get some lobster. They take the R and they put it other places. That's true. Mm-hmm. Lobster. And I love it when a word ends with an A, but Tampa. not, but not in Boston. Chow da, chow da, chow da. <laughs> that's what that's Jennifer. A Jennifer. <laughs> um. Uh, it feels like I can't see shit. Uh, the microphone is so nice directly in front of everyone's faces. You can eat a butt. It's really like seriously. Well, okay. I can't see, I can't see Michael's beautiful face, and I and I want to admire his glasses Buddy, more. I'm trying to help you. Thank <laughs> you. Um, Ouch, Michael. I'm sorry I said that. Tim's so mean. On, Tim. You calling me a diaper a diaper girl? <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I'm sorry I said that. Jennifer, I am not sorry I said that. <laughs> You're a Oh, now you have done it. Just do this. <laughs> Why are you doing? Let me just do this. Then I twist it. Go over here. Nick, <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> yeah, my freaking. I hate everything about using my computer and my stuff because Danny has like really nice headphones that only have like one cord and don't try to choke me. And yeah. this is bad. What Tim t- 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 <laughs> doing is bad. I'm Nico. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 uh, I have an idea. Oh my. God. <laughs> You're stressing me out <laughs> so much. Remember, remember when Mike Bachman was like, "Let's keep it tight." <laughs> That was, yeah, I'm sorry, Bob. that was hilarious. I am ready to start. I'm ready. Right. Oh, right. We don't need that. The thing is, you did put it exactly back where you started. <laughs> I, I tried. <laughs> I couldn't do it any better. I'm trying my new accents. <laughs> put Who? the microphone in the ogre pit. There we go. Who, uh, right who's going to do this uh, first leaf? Yeah. Like what uh nika do you want to do it since you've t- actually tasted I could, the fruit I, we, me and nika could do it together <laughs> that would be good i feel like me and nika like hardly ever do ads together it's fucked up well we do, we're always like, force nika to do first leaf jennifer and i did one or two i think once yeah. that's it though all the rest are nika well that's, i guess that's true yeah um well we like to keep our representation you know what i'm saying i mean uh, i'm broad whatever. so like why would we put both our girls again in broad guys? Oh, nice. nice, Michael. You are nice. a rakish fuck. <laughs> Man, are you guys excited for Easter? I, I, I forgot it was a thing. Is that this weekend? Yeah, I get to drive to New Jersey. I'm gonna get some discount eggs and ham, baby. <laughs> I need the ham. Man, our fucking uh, realtor dude is meeting us on Sunday morning. I guess he's not celebrating Easter. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're gonna be able to go into our new apartment. I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna look at it. You know what makes me the most nervous is when I post say I post in the in my work chat saying that I'm sick and I'm not gonna be in today, and then I get I see to now that I have a message from 11 a.m., which is my boss saying, "Where are you?" Oh, oh no, boy. That oh, doesn't boy. Make me feel good. Maybe <laughs> read it, please. Oh boy. I mean, I'm assuming someone was like, "Yeah, you said this already." Yeah, dumb fuck. And probably he just didn't see it. Oh, I think that the chat can't hear Mr. Bachman. 
Oh, uh, no. Beans and butts. I hope they can't. I don't want them to hear me. Bubba, I, I would say the, the light that you got on you makes you look better. You did. I was. You kind of look like the people in a zombie movie that have the zombie and um, they haven't told anybody yet. <laughs> like, they're, like they're keeping a zombie. Like they, no, like they had the, the zombie disease. <laughs> they got bit. Oh, you talking? They got like, bit. Like I'm coughing into a handkerchief and I, yeah, exactly. A handkerchief. Earlier, you with the the way the lighting was before, you looked a bit like that. Like your skin looked a little gray, but now you look more like a normal human and not like a zombie. Like Orc Dave. How about now? You oh you look blue. <laughs> Audio. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can see the map right through your face now. Right <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> my my guts hurt. What are my fucking guts? How are your guts? I don't know. Tim, you're all up in your guts. Ooh. Michael. <laughs> Michael. That's a that's Jesus. naughty. Uh, yeah. So Twitch, we're gonna record an ad. You guys need to see how the, the dog sausage, if you will, oh, man. is made, and then we'll uh, start episode whatever we're on, and uh, two fifty nine, yeah. I think. Two fifty nine, doing the eight six episodes back to back to back to back to back. <laughs> back. Uh, two fifty eight has been through released to the yet, so just a heads up. Bam, baby, let's go. A little better, people said. He's still quiet. Someone said slightly better. Well, he's just quiet. Leave yeah. him alone. But they can't hear him. What? He is being what? Kind of quiet. Oh. Oh, and then Nika got mad. N Nika like piss off, uh, mate. <laughs> she's like, I am not doing another first leaf ad. You guys can eat my ass. This this was the last leaf. <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> they called it something different in this email. They did. They did. Call they are it. called. It's the parent company's Penrose Hill or something. That sounds fancy. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a um, like a bed and breakfast in, yeah. in a jolly old England town. All right, let's get open audacity. Let's get doing this before me? yes, Michael dies. I hear you now, Nika. Okay, thank you. What are we doing for the ad? Because my audio just cut out and I didn't hear anything. Oh, ass. Um, we, we earlier were saying maybe me and you should, but maybe we shouldn't if your audio is being weird. All right, Bachman and Nika. <laughs> <laughs> How about? A classic that we all know and love. Tim, Jennifer, and Michael. <laughs> Three of us? All right, we can do it. Uh oh. <laughs> I've never read a first leaf script. Really? I always I just delete them as soon as I get them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna do it. Michael and I just did one. Yeah, but that was different. Whatever. Um, we can do it. Is it the same thing that they have us? Yes, yeah, same as always. Yeah, just... Well, I thought they had an update. The text is different. Yes. I started by answering three quick questions about my wine drinking preferences. Can I use the word after birth? <laughs> like Tim likes to do it. <laughs> yeah. He talks about wine. Um, all right, we're ready to hit record? Sure. Nika, do you think you're good to do it? Sure. 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 It's <laughs> a Fraser reference. Uh on Wait, so go who's doing it. Nika and Jennifer. And I'll probably not I'll probably giggle in the background. <laughs> oh my god, Tim, shut the fuck up. This is girl time. <laughs> Alright. On go. Three, two, one, go. We're podcast recording ad times. Um Oh wait a minute. Was that for everybody or were you guys doing the ad recording? Just the ad. Oh just okay. us. Good, good, good. Uh, so when we do the bait then, and I should have, we have to do the like, hey, hold on. Hey, shut day. up. Hey, shut up. Okay, cool. Wait, why don't, if this is baked in, oh, it's baked in for last week's episode. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, it's all confusing. Or if Monday's um, Nika, do you want to drive it and then I talk, or do you want me to drive it? Um, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll drive it. I'll do it. Even though I don't know shit. <laughs> Um, okay, hold on. Oh, I don't like doing this when the chat can hear me do ads because I I get nervous. I don't like them out there. I did... Stop! Pretend I can't... they're all just wearing their underwear. Oh, they're that's a different ad. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Nika, can I can we do a little girls sidebar real quick? You know it always. I need to talk about something really important. Is it you. your period? Um, it, it is, but I'm gonna talk about that off off mic. <laughs> that's <Okay>. later. <laughs> Good point. Um, speaking of, <laughs> I was 
speaking of blood red things, I don't think they like, really, like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, hey, you know, periods exist, but why? <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, so I've been. Oh, oh, fuck! I hate this. I'm now stressed you, out. Tim, come back. Do you want me to? Here, I, yeah. I maybe right, try something. I'll, let me uh, just move her back. Thank you. That You're is. so hot. I, I'm. I'm sweating. Wow, I'm stressed gross. out. <laughs> um. Hey Jennifer, I know that I've been sending you a lot of BuzzFeed quizzes, but I had another quiz that I think you might be a little more interested in. Okay. Perfect. I'm ready to go. Please tell me. Okay. Well, what if I asked you? Where do you want your wine to come from? Okay. What color of wine you prefer? And how often would you like a subscription-based wine delivery service delivered read, to you? I read to answer all those because, number one, I want it at my house. Um, I like every color of wine that exists. Did you know recently I, I learned there's orange wine? That's an aside that what? I learned that. Um, and also, I would like it to be delivered to me every month, please. Well, let me tell you about First Leaf. <laughs> First Leaf is... An online subscription. Oh, I'm sorry. That was bad. Okay. Let me tell you about First Leaf. First Leaf is a new wine club that's putting a boring stop to normal buying wine. You don't just have to go to a store anymore and pick up ba- bottles based off of their label. Now, that's good because I'm really bad that's... about doing that sincerely. Like I, I will pick wine just exactly based on the label because I don't know. I know nothing. I'm a fool. Well, with starting a quiz with those easy questions, you can then get an introductory box for only $15 delivered to you with what? three bottles of wine. That's, That's enough to... Yeah. Sorry. No, it's fine. You go. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. No. Um, sorry. That's just $5 a bottle. And then once you go from there and the, try those bottles out, you can then answer more questions, which more quizzes. And mm, I love quizzes. First Leaf will then. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like we're all broken tonight. What's yeah. Um, okay. After you try your first introductory box, then you can. I cannot do this. I'm sorry. <laughs> what if we do? What if we record it after? I know that we usually don't do that, but maybe we'll be all juiced up better. I can bit. just do yeah. one by myself after or whatever. Yeah, but... let's figure it out. I think we we gotta get we need to get in the zone first. I feel like I'm not an ad zone right now. You guys bailed? Yeah, we bailed on it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Just Should just I save this audio? No. Uh, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I save yeah, it. Save send it, it to David for. Uh, Put this on the Patreon and be like, "This is a this is what you missed day. in the live stream." Yeah. Sincerely, I did learn about orange wine, and I'm I'm intrigued by it. What about Frosé? No, I listen. Don't even wait. Fucking like, start on some Frosé. That was my shit at Disneyland. You demoted. <laughs> Fifty-eight take two. All right, let's get this shit right. cracking. You know what I'm saying? Let's like, do it. it. Cracking, lacking. And why well, am I so, so hot right now? Oh man, you're freaking out. <laughs> It's orange color. I don't think it's flavored like oranges. Huh? Someone in the chat was asking about orange wine. It's, it's made orange. out of oranges, I think. Have you Is played Stardew Valley? I mean, come on. I don't come think on. that's true. Have you read orange wine. The Way of Radiance or whatever it's called? It's not um, and I will... We, you know, if, if everyone feels like they're going to fall over and die... <laughs> 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 we only have to do one. Uh, All right. Yeah. He, oh, <laughs> okay. Everyone okay, yeah, have audacity open. Let's get going, baby. Uh, Michael, you, 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 you. Does everyone that. have audacity open? Let's get going, baby. Yeah, my good bitch. We <laughs> fun one. I have audacity uh-huh. open, baby. Okay. I'm also munching on some nuts. I should stop that. <laughs> nice. Get into those nuts. What's his name? What? Oh my god. Huh. <laughs> no. On go. Three, two, one, go. We're recording, recording. a podcast. Sorry. A podcast. I almost, I almost munched on some nuts, too. Oh, you got to munch on some nuts? <laughs> you got Bear. to. Buddy, I had some nuts and I had my salad at lunch. You know what mm-hmm. they say, a nut a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> they do say that. <laughs> that well-known phrase that we all <laughs> know and love. I feel like... If people are, uh, someone in the chat is like, y'all drive. The thing is, we're just, we're not, we're just loopy for some reason. 
When Bob wins, Louis for reason, because he's sick. I've been, I've been taking that Mucinex. It ain't done shit. Oh, he's hyped on that Mucinex. You gotta light a candle. That helps. Yeah. It's burn, burn the snot right out of you. This microphone. Yeah, it's really fucked up. I don't know what's wrong with this microphone tonight. It's extremely bad. You're embarrassing me. Uh... Okay. Okay. Remember when we were recorded five days ago? It was, uh... it was, it was too soon. <laughs> <laughs> we can only record when it's like, oh, fuck, if we don't record, we're boned. And if we don't have the, like, looming, like, axe over our necks, like, it's no good. That is 100% accurate. Uh, cool, baby. Let's do it. Right? Are we ready to go? I think so. I think so. <gasps> oh! Um, I have a good idea. I Sorry. I This morning, while I was getting ready, I found a really good, not improv game, but like a Ooh. get your brain juices flowing okay. game. Are you guys ready? I was improv it's, game. It's, it's State capitals. It's, <laughs> just name them. No, no, no. It's taken from a tweet by uh, Twitter user Bobby. All right. You got... Okay, imagine... Imagine a man... And his name is Wayne Dog. I need right. each one of you to tell me what does Wayne Dog look at? Like, tell me what is Wayne Dog's describe to you? Describe what Wayne is Dog. A, a what is a quintessential Wayne Dog? Who's first? I think Michael. He's the DM. <laughs> um, I think he uh, he's 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 wearing a button-down shirt, but not any of the buttons are buttoned. <laughs> <laughs> My oh. doorbell just rang. That was weird. <laughs> oh man, don't okay. answer that. That's how they I get. I will you. not. It's Wayne Dog. <laughs> it's Wayne <laughs> Dog for sure. Is that it? That, is that it? That's the it. button. <laughs> That's it. Wow. Simple. Just no, no undershirt or anything. Just the mm. other rule about playing the Wayne Dog game is that whenever someone describes their Wayne Dog, you have to compliment it and say, "That's a great Wayne Dog." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, you for can me, say it right after saying, "Is that it?" On my door. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have to accept the truth of Michael's Wayne dog. Yeah, and, and I do. Michael's gone. That was Wayne dog. <laughs> yeah, Nika, what? Who, who's Tell your me Wayne, about dog? Wayne dog? My Wayne dog is a anthropomorphic dog, nice. um, <laughs> Bojack style, but he's a bloodhound and he okay. wears a cowboy hat. Okay. And he's a deputy, um, but he likes to just be not formal with the town. So he just goes by Wayne Dog. Uh, okay, um, this is very good. <laughs> he wears a funny star. It's like it, it is like the cowboy star. Nice. But he wears that um, with a red plaid gingham shirt, a blue mm -hmm. handkerchief, mm -hmm. his cowboy hat, and some very tight pants. But not <laughs> too tight. They're age appropriate. <laughs> Wow, that's a Wayne dog. That's a really good Wayne dog. Yeah. That was a very angry food delivery person at my door. Oh, no. Did you order food? I did not. Uh oh. <laughs> that sucks for them. Ooh, this fucking guy. You know who ordered it. You know it was Wayne dog that ordered that food. <laughs> More accurately, you know the delivery person's also Wayne dog. <laughs> he was pretty much Wayne dog. Uh, how about you, Bachman? What's your Wayne dog? My Wayne dog, he's a, uh, he's a tall kind of like a... Uh, like well built dude, got some some snakeskin boots. He's got a hat. He's got a pickup truck where with like three different lawnmowers in the back. Oh uh, yes, do any of them uses, work? He uses to support his family because um, he also got a sticker in the back of the pickup truck that says "Baby, I'm bored." Um, <laughs> and he uses the that actually refers to both his his son and his gun. Um, <laughs> And he's just, he just loves the environment. Oh, man. So true. That's such a good Wayne dog. Can I share with everyone my Wayne dog? Please, go ahead. So Absolutely. The, the most important thing about Wayne dog is that he would 100% has Bart Simpson tattooed on his calf. <laughs> 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 and that also, he wears jean shorts that are, like, very big and long. Like, they, <laughs> like they, they exactly, they, like, just brush the top of Bart Simpson's head. Yeah. Um, and also, he has a very long ponytail. Do you remember? Tied my, in the back. Do you remember my Wayne dog? I'm not 100% please. Do you remember your Wayne dog? I don't dog? remember my oh, Wayne no. dog. It was really good. I think that you may have said that, like, he's friends with, like, everyone. Um, 
but like no one really like hangs out with him like one on one. That was one of the tweets. Oh, that was one of the tweets. Okay, I just I'll remember Twitter. Him. Well, now you have to think of a new Wayne dog. A new Wayne dog. A new Wayne dog. Yeah. Shit. Jennifer, um, yours was basically a juggalo, I think. I think it's not a juggalo, honestly. Um, my Wayne dog, he wear um large shirt that okay. uh, used to probably have like a county fair uh, uh, logo on it, but it's too faded. And he wears uh, uh, ripped light jeans. Yes. He has uh, sort of greasy hair, big smile. Um, How are his teeth? Uh, they're big, but the, uh, the, the teeth are fine. The gums aren't so great. Oh no. Um, <laughs> that, that is a way not. That's, yeah. And, uh, he's the type of guy whom you, you, you don't really talk to for that long, but every single sort of like mini conversation, he knows a little bit something interesting about all of it. Man. Yeah, that's Wayne Dog. Guys, what a wonderful round of Wayne Dogs. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Taking part in my, I feel like my while, game. while Jennifer's not screaming... Our audio is way too low. I think I'm too excited about Wayne Dog. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. All right. Let's do it, baby. That's Wayne Dog. Okay. Want to begin this episode, though? Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> it's good timing because I'm out of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we've always started. <laughs> the final nut has been consumed. <laughs> Maybe next, next episode I'll put a nut counter up on the screen. There we go. And, yeah, here's the, the thing. Bullshit. Is the nut counter going to count down or is it going to count up? Well, we have a banana counter, so. Oh, we do have a banana counter. We got That's a. Yeah. I feel like my door is about to get kicked in. Oh yeah, that white dog like, is coming. Back. I just hear like thunk, like bumps and thunks, and he's fucking mad. God, the, it follows he's... monsters behind you. Oh fuck! Don't even fucking talk to me about it. it falls. Uh, Wayne Dog is gonna. He's going to throw a pizza into your home <laughs> as if it was a frisbee. Shit or con? He's throwing a pizza into your house. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We ready? Can we start? <clears throat> yes. Let's go. Greetings, adventurers. You have joined us for another episode of the Drunks and Dragons podcast. I am your dungeon master, Michael Demaro, and with me is Tim Lamb. Hey, everybody. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Nika Howard. Hello. I'm here. Jennifer Cheek. Hey, everyone. And I'm Micah Bachman. Hey, guys. I'm here. Oh, Bachman's um, dying. Oh, no. Mike Bachman is sick. Ooh. He's a sicky boy. Uh, Ooh, woo. Uh, my nose <laughs> got the dribbles. <laughs> His skin is getting uh, paler by the moment. Well, just now, Mike, if, if you're not funny tonight, you are off the podcast. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, daddy. She's Frank sounding motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. This fucking Frank. Oh, shit. What's, when's this episode come out? Oh, fuck. What? Oh, we didn't say where the meetups go. Uh, oh, ass! Ass! <laughs> we fucked it we up. Can, we can splice it into gotcha. next week's or Monday. Yeah, Monday's. yeah, you got. I know for a fact that there's a big chunk of audio that's been cut out. You can <laughs> slide it in there. <laughs> put it right in there. What happened to your party at? <laughs> <laughs> and hey. Um, so, how's everyone doing, buddies? I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Okay. First week um, back, I'm in Boston, you know. Sure. I'm feeling a little wacky. I'm a little. I'm a little loopy. Michael's worried that his door doesn't get kicked down by an angry food delivery person. I I think it's happening right now. <laughs> We're about to get to see Michael get swatted on the screen by a food delivery man. Really? I think we're all kind of out of sorts in our own special ways, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm really just upset that I worked so hard to make Tim and Jennifer appear. Like to fill out their space in the stream, and like nobody, I've been watching chat, and nobody, nobody seems to care. Wow, I had, you guys are so ungrateful for the work that Mike Bachman does. Chat, let me I, bring it up. Uh, Twitch TV slash Geekly Inc. Uh, there is a beautiful border around wow. you guys. That's really so, bad. <laughs> I didn't see it. And I, you know what? I'm the person who I'm the one who is fucked. <laughs> I'm the fucked up one. Wow. That's good. Um, and I uh-huh. love it. I worked very yes. hard on it. It took me all of, like, the better part of a minute, I'd say. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. Um, should we just go ahead and roll a d20, or is there anything else? Let's do it, man. Let's get yeah, crazy. Let's 
crazy. Let me see them dice. Okay, baby. sure. I'm not Oh, it's really the big one. It's mine. I got a nat 20, so if y'all want to roll, you can. Somebody can roll a one. Somebody can roll one. I oh, I rolled a seven. I did a three. I got a six. Uh, Mike Bachman, who would you like to read? Uh, or say what the whatever is. What happened last time in Drugs and Dragons? Uh, Michael, I, as per tradition, I would like you to... <laughs> Say that is not a legal. That happened. It, I do it every time, and you always do it. So if you're gonna start putting your foot down now, you know I gotta. I gotta wonder why you're flipping and flopping so much. David will go back and change anything I ask him to. Wow. So wait, how? Wait, you're gonna have you, David do the recap? He's gonna <laughs> retcon. He's gonna retcon <laughs> every other time where I said that I would do it. So you're gonna have. Who's gonna go back and record a recap though? He's already spliced together. Complete sound libraries for each of you, so he oh. can make <laughs> oh, okay. say whatever he wants. Man, that not... is, that's gonna really go against me in court one day for sure. We're not needed. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> Even though it's against the spirit of the recap. <laughs> <laughs> that's just because Michael doesn't remember what happened last time. Um, last week on the Drunks and Dragons podcast, how did it start? I don't remember how it started. <laughs> No, Liz, 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 Liz. I remember how it ended. Um, I didn't. They started, or they started by getting all together at the middle finger of the first folk. Yes, or something. they ran away from Pyre. Y'all ran yeah. away from Pyre, and you escaped. And then you uh, met the, the middle finger of the first folk, or oh. something like that. Yeah. I'll come back now. Finger uh, the first folk. Finger the uh, first folk. And then and it started snowing. Do you remember yeah, that? that? Was weird. That oh yeah, Michael. Yeah, that was yeah. so weird. Yeah. Um. And then, uh, then you get a message from Asha Yardane <laughs> saying that uh, Tom Harper has has gone missing. That's so weird. Um. So you all teleported to uh, Paylor's Hope, and um, and you investigated his room. And you found a silver tuning fork that was, um, that, uh, was, how do you say it? Attuned. Yeah. Attuned to the Feywild. tuning fork would be. Is cool? Is that really the whole episode? Uh, th- well, we... There was a lot of, uh, parties on, party time on the boat. Oh, yeah, you guys did tear it up on, we on the boat. We tore it up pretty bad. There was a lot of ferret wine. Did we escape Pyre? Th- that at the end of last episode, I, there's so many times that we we do a recap. Like we've surely we did more than that. Uh, and, and most of the time, no, we did not do more <laughs> no, than that. Sometimes less. Uh, sometimes <laughs> this is true. Uh, I think we did some. You know, one of the the, the greatest parts about our 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 art here is uh, Jennifer and I, and I have to legally say we're artists. So uh, that's true. Yeah. So if you're, you know, if you ever have to testify in court, yeah, we're artists. We're artists. Uh, you know, it was some excellent back and forth some RP, some, um, you know, scene work between people. It, you know, it wasn't just rolling and attacking goblins and stuff like that. Yeah. It's not the 70s, okay? <laughs> we've moved beyond that kind of thing. Yeah, we've moved beyond that. We, <laughs> we've ascended. We're <laughs> now doing the kind of D&D where you get, pretend to get drunk with your friends. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, so you all are now in Paler's Hope. Um, and, you know, you look out the window. And it's snowing? <laughs> It is snowing. Oh, this guy God. loves snow. Okay, it's, it's too late for a Christmas episode. Yeah, Michael. <laughs> well, it is because it's like pretty much, let's say, early summer. Hmm. Wow. Damn. Um. Oh golly, is it? Oh. Uh, do you think I would have had time? And uh, oh, oh, can I wreck on something? We're no. all wearing sh- what? <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, okay. Uh, we're all wearing uh, uh, sweaters that say, I went to Gnome Heaven and all I got was the sweaters. <laughs> um, yes. I would like to think some of us are wearing Gnome Heaven uh, cartoon caps with little puffballs on top. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. We went to Gnome Heaven, but we didn't talk about it at all. And we got Gnome Heaven candy. Yes, yes. Um, so. We got pictures with. Gnomes. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Portraits? <laughs> like sketches? Sketch what characters. if we did old timey ones where we're dressed up like <laughs> Oh yes. Cowboys and 
<laughs> yeah, like like the whole time you wasted. Yeah. <laughs> those like skirts. And I stuff. don't think cameras exist yet, but you know, mm. uh, people can draw accurately. It's it's magic. Um, so I guess what we would want to do, right, is it? Uh, oh, uh, Asha, Queen Asha Yara. Um, uh, I have this orb, and and I would like to take it to your white spire to have them look at it, please. Before we skip. Um, to Toby, my son, my heir, the last, the well, not the last, but I forgot about my children. You the have, like, most important, he, first he, born son of of King Titus Harper is missing. I know. He's the prince. I know. Well, my nephew's missing, Toby. <laughs> we have to go to the White Spire to teleport regardless. Or wait, how are we? I can't go to the Feywild using my planar shift until well, tomorrow. What do you need to to go to the Feywild? Uh, well, since this this little boy here is attuned, bling, 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 um, I think I'm not gonna look up the spell. Who cares? I can teleport there using some magics. I'm not familiar with it. Let me see. I'm gonna read the spell. I started to get guilty. <laughs> You, you I, can feel the tweets coming. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. You're going to get lambasted. No one has done that. I just looked up mass suggestion. That's not it. Um, I don't know, guys. Big B's hand. That's the one. It's Big B's <laughs> hand. But, 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 uh, uh, Pyre wanted this orb, it, which means, which means it's important. And it, I think it's making it snow. Pyre? Yes. The Where dragon. did you see Pyre outside of a mast work? Well, he attacked us actually, and we really uh, we tricked him because we're really smart and good at our jobs. So yeah, he was trying to get the Zorb. I don't know why. I mean, other than he's a dragon and he likes shiny things. That is bizarre. Um, plane shift. You and up to eight willing creatures who link hands in a circle are transported. Are you gonna read all of it? Plane of existence. Yeah, I think I can just do it. Um. Da, 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 da. Oh, you do need a, a forked metal rod worth at least 250 gold pieces attuned to the particular plane of existence. Cool. Yes. Yes. I wasn't. Yes. Perfect. This is why it's better. Oh, I'm going to keep this. And he puts it into his his uh, pocket. I thought you were putting it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. That's stupid. Um. Well, I can't teleport again until tomorrow or until I take an eight hour nap. Um. What time is it right now? I don't know. Morning, I think. Well, I do suppose you probably need to make some preparations if you're going to the Feywild. Yeah, well, I guess if if you guys want to go to the White Spire and have them take a look at Orb... While you take a nap. While I go sleepy, <laughs> even though I just woke up 28 minutes ago. <laughs> I'll go with you. Take you my clothes off. <laughs> or to actually... Take, I'll take my bracers off. Mm -hmm. uh, no longer cast shield or mage armor, and have the wizard shoot me with sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely one way to do it. I mean, but do you think you'll be able to go back to sleep after you ate all those beans this morning? Oh, I've so many in gnome heaven beans are so good. Um, I've been up for twenty nine minutes, <laughs> but I'm sleepy. Oh. Golly. Wait, you're sleeping now? Oh, we were talking about it. It's been so busy. Uh, I give uh, Rowan the orb, and then I look at Lonnie. And, Who and are Sky. these two people with you, anyway? Oh, these are uh, <clears throat> these are our new recruits, Ashiara. There, this is this is Lonnie, and this is uh, Rowan. Looks at looks at Scud and is like, <clears throat> Scud, Scud. Yes. Huh? What? Somebody say my name? Yes. Uh, yeah. This is what can God, I do for this you? is Ashi Ardane. She's my sister, and she's also a queen. Oh, oh. queen, oh. huh? Yeah. Pretty cool, right? That's, that's pretty cool. You, you've been a queen for long? <laughs> she, she holds out her uh, hand for you to... Specifically to Lonnie. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought Axton literally just shit on the floor. I'm sorry. Did you do a bad toot? Yeah, it was... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Wow, what a, what a curse recording. <laughs> it really is. I'm sorry. Um, 
She holds out her hand to be kissed. <laughs> to who? Uh, Lonnie, Lonnie grabs her hand, and she doesn't kiss it, but she gives a suck on a finger. <laughs> Oh, I see you're from Arkansas. <laughs> oh, hell, you caught me. World's greatest DM mug ever. <laughs> you know, well, I... if, if Roro uh, brings you along with her, then I'm sure you're fine. Yeah, I only recruit the best people. Isn't that right, guys? Toby. I've recruited all these people. Yeah, she's been doing such a great job. We haven't lost any of the money you gave us. Nope. Everything's going great. Everything's good. 100% fine. Where's Frank? He's with, the, he's with the ship. Okay, good. Because he's probably right over here. I'm right over here. Actually. Oh, what? No! <laughs> Frank! Frank I you are legally you're... obligated to bring me with you. That's true. And you have lost a fair amount of the money. Mm, and, but we got it all back. <laughs> We got it all back, and we're doing great, and we're in the black, not the red. We're in the black. Ebb and throw, flow of business is exactly. how it goes. Takes money, spend it to make it. You gotta take chances. Plus, we're having a great time. Look at this adventure. It's snowing outside because of this orb. Oh, I bet. Oh, I bet Tom loved to play in the snow. Yeah. Who's Tom? Yeah. Yeah. Tom's my nephew, and Asha, our <laughs> son, and and he's missing. Oh, yeah. Well, where'd he go? Well, that's what we're trying. The Feywild. He's in the Feywild. We gotta go get him. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Have you gonna sleep? <laughs> all right, all right. Toby puts a comically large sleeping cap in. in, in... We just cover Toby with a blanket. Yeah, and he just <laughs> lay, lays down right there. Ooh, sleepy. I'm asleep. Um, Frank uh, looks at the rest of you, and he's like, um, what do we... What do we know about... Uh, the Feywild. What sort of, what do we need to pack? Mm. I bet you'd love a gnome's opinion on this. The Toby's asleep. Mushrooms. Um, have I as a half, have I been in the Feywild before? You, we have decided you have, you have been. Oh no, you've been to Galanthus. <laughs> Michael, stop yelling at me. I wish that my two fathers and one which is also my husband would tell me the truth. I wish I didn't always lie to my two husbands. Which is one of which is my wife. <laughs> um, okay. So can I do uh okay. maybe like a nature or history kind of check? See like what I know about. Uh you can do history. Good thing for you. Those are same for me. <laughs> nice one. Um, for you tricked them. Because like maybe I've I've heard stuff through my network. You know, uh, I rolled an eighteen. Um, I mean, you know that it is a uh, woodland area and that magic is very strong there. Mm -hmm. Um, but you don't really know. I mean, you don't know sort of intimate details. Um, you do know that you could probably find somebody at the White Spire. Who could tell you more? A fey creature of some kind. Oh, like a gnome. Nice. <clears throat> or an elf. Well, personally, you know, I've never been to the fey lab myself, but like I've been fine pretty much everywhere I've gone. So we're probably good, but maybe it'd be good to talk to like, you know, someone at the Wise Fire. All right, let's uh let's head there. You wanna go you guys wanna go? Yeah. Wise Fire? Well show them the we, while we're at it. Should we carry little Toby while he's yeah. sleeping? <laughs> Yeah, I well, I, I, I could take care of it. I and I uh, beckon to a couple of skeletons. Oh, <laughs> a couple oh, of bo you. bone boys to come carry our friends. <laughs> oh my god! I just imagine them being in like skimpy little underwear, <laughs> but they're like really beefy bones. Oh, they're, 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 <laughs> they're only hard. Undead, some, those, somehow undead. thick, muscular bones. Yeah. <laughs> very fucked up looking, but they're, also yeah. arousing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so, they, sorry, sorry. You say a couple of them. Are they like? I just need more details on how they're carrying Toby. Is what I'm telling you. Just for my, just Jennifer wants to know. These bones come out of your your uh, bag of holding. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I um, I, I'd say probably about three three skeletons in my bag of holding. Just uh, the prince treatment. I'm saving one for a special occasion. Mm. 
A little bit of dust on the bones. That's how you know they're good. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> the king of jokes <laughs> that we make up before we start recording. <laughs> I love it. Uh, all right, so you guys head over to the White Spire. And uh, um, they I, won't I, let you in. You just you just shoved Toby, opened one of Toby's eyes, and they scanned him. <laughs> <laughs> You just take his, uh, like, take the blanket off your face, and they like, Meh. yeah. It's like, oh. okay. uh, the uh, person at the front desk goes, um, "What can I help you with?" Oh, um, number one, our friend here is sleeping, and he really needs to keep sleeping. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Is that Toby Treacle Tart? You know it is. Look at him. There's a painting. Of, there's a painting of him up on the wall over there. Oh my god, we need to get the a skeletons hold him up so that he can get a better look. <laughs> <laughs> You're sleeping. Shut up. I'm I'm, I'm cooing. Wait, can we fuck this up and make it so that Tim's gonna not talk this entire episode because he's asleep? <laughs> you try. What? <laughs> One of them Fucked gives him a up. pacifier made of bone. <laughs> um. Yeah. So Toby, he's he's really got some hard work ahead of him. So we're letting him rest right now. But uh, we, we have some questions that we need to ask the folks in the White Spire, specifically about the Feywild. If you could direct us to who we should talk to. Um, okay. Uh, oh, well, you know, if Toby's here, he'll Watson Copperfield will probably want to uh, see him. So okay. you can just go, go on up. Okay. Does Rowan know where to go? <laughs> There's only one direction. It just goes up. <laughs> <laughs> Go like, okay, but there's probably multiple floors. <laughs> Rowan hits, the, not one to look dumb, just hits the next floor, <laughs> steps out. Nope. <laughs> you, you're laughing, but that's the thing that Jennifer Cheek would do. Like, I will not ask any further questions. I will figure this out on my own. Thank you. Um, so you get, uh, th they escort you up to. We, 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 we hit the button in the elevator that says Watson Comperfield. <laughs> Uh, so you are you are taken up to the uh, top top dog head head whiz boy of the Paylor's Hope White Spire. Oh hell yeah! Um, I think he used to be in Glane and he transferred. That's why he's sure, here. Sure, people like to you know you you need to change the scenery sometimes. Mm -hmm. Plus, he did get his brain taken over there, so you know probably a lot of bad memories. Bad memories. <laughs> yeah, Glane's weird right now. Yeah. Um, and he goes, uh, so you come in and he goes, uh, oh, I see you're back. I haven't seen you in, in years, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Toby sleeping again, huh? Yeah, he's, he's, you're talking very loud. Um, it's fine. Oh, you, he'll just sleep through it? You think? Sure. Okay, well... <laughs> Um, what can I help you with? So, man. Oh. Watson Copperfield is a very, he's a wizened old gnome, but he's, he's uh, you know, very powerful. Has Rowan met him before? Yeah, I'd say she has met him before. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Him and she him might have met him on the podcast, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> anything. Well, Our... oh, go ahead. Oh, no, I, I'm sorry. I just had a personal question I wanted to ask. Um, oh, are you, uh, my name's Lonnie, uh, I'm from Arkansas, and I would like to lick your finger, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, it is traditional, by all means. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and Lonnie, yeah, you've just, you curtsy. You've oh, made I'm... a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I will not oh, lick no. your finger. At... We do oh, a no! show at some point. <laughs> Zerd is back. Oh, no. <laughs> The goddaughter of Zerd, Lonnie. Yes. <laughs> uh, actually, um, one of uh, one of my uh, skeletons is from Arkansas as well, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh. The skeleton just comes up and lightly just, just grazes his teeth down the finger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. uh, a lot drier, that one. <laughs> um, what can I do for you, Lonnie? Uh, well, I'll... Oh, sorry. It's Lonnie. Oh. You're talking. Uh, shut up. <laughs> no, it's it's okay, Rowan. I know you get real excited about magic, like I do too. Sometimes it's just like 
it's it's crazy you can't describe magic but i was wondering if you knew how to do a magic spell that you could tie someone's shoelaces together so they would trip when they got up <laughs> uh, that's good that's good i like that uh lonnie uh l- look down <laughs> <laughs> oh she sees it she knows that it's tied together but she still takes the step to fall. Wait, does Lonnie wear, wear shoe? No, yes. but her little foot wraps. Oh, I oh. want her to have snakes on. I oh. want all of your horrific toes to be incredibly broken. <laughs> oh my! Wait, why does she have horrific toes? Oh, they're broken. Why are they broken? Well, she because she tied she tied them. Oh, oh like <laughs> toe tied. <laughs> That's very fucked up, and I don't care to think about it. Uh, oh, oh man! Oh, thank you, Watson. You just made my day. Uh, my pleasure. <laughs> I'm sorry. We could get back to the task at hand. Um, uh, Watson, these are these are our new recruits to Tower to the Tower of Gray. And uh, uh, who is the kind of mauve guy over here? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, yeah. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My name's my name's Scud. Uh, first time out in the world. Been uh, been in a monastery since I was a, a, a wee babe. Uh, just uh, you know, kind of shaking things out. I see. I sense quite a bit of magic uh, coming from you. Oh yeah, yeah. These are my bone boys. Say hello. They both they both <laughs> wave, but like drop half of Toby <laughs> to do it. <laughs> Beam. <laughs> um, necromancy is is usually frowned upon uh, here at the White Spire, but uh, we can, you know, make make an exception. He, he uses time. it for good, as you can see. Yeah, I then... grant life. <laughs> Look how gently they're cradling Toby. Like they're, they're really gentle, and he's trained them very well. One is moving some hair out of Toby's face. And just... <laughs> <laughs> Throwing him by the back of the head, oh, like as a, a baby. baby should be. <laughs> so, uh, so what can I help you all with? Well, there's man. Oh, there's so many things. Um, number one. Uh, what do you think about this orb we've got here? <laughs> <laughs> Rowan produces the orb. Ah, interesting. I've never seen this before. Uh, I'll just cl- cast a quick identify spell on it and uh, check out what it is. And he um he casts identify on it, and he's like, "Well, well, darn thing! I uh, not getting anything off this. It's very powerfully magical, though." Damn it. Explains why Pyre wanted it so much. Um, is it a map? It oh. does. Yeah, it does appear to be a map of some sort. I think that's what we figured out. Yeah. Interesting. Could it be a map of the world, like a globe? Well, this. See this shape here. Um, in some ancient tomes, that is often used to represent the Feywild, and uh, I believe that this it might be more of a planar map. Oh, so like, could this be a map where if we followed the map, we would find Tom Harper? Um, is Tom? Oh, I did hear. I would, of course, have heard of that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know. I do a check to see if he's an imposter. <laughs> Goofy. Ah, shit. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> uh, hard to say. Are you just because you fat? What, did you just recently find this, or we did? Why? Why would you think it would lead you to Tom Harper? Oh well, I'm not very smart, but sometimes I can deduce things fairly well, and it just seemed like maybe the two were connected. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Didn't we just uh, say that she does logic puzzles? I think we did. Actually. <laughs> She's better uh, than everyone at it. I mean, it it could be. I don't. I don't rightly know. I mean, Maybe this is something to ponder. <laughs> I mean, I, I just, I, I think it's our best chance, you know, like, why would this just show up here and the snow and there's snow here? And I just think it's, it has to be connected. The snow thing is freaking me out. I'm telling yeah, you right now. Yeah, it's really messed up. It does not normally snow here. No. 
Absolutely not. Um, that could have some, uh, you know, a lot of the weather uh, in our realm can be dictated by the Feywild. So, mm. so at the very can... least, I think we got to we got to go there and check out what's going on. You know. Now, has any of you ever been to the Feywild? No. Mm-mm. Well, but... I I will tell you, it is a very dangerous place. Like fun dangers, like adventures dangers, like one of us might twist an ankle if we go hiking. <laughs> um. Well, short ankle, neck, you know, whatever. <laughs> um. So it is uh, just uh, running through it really quick and hopefully not bore you with too much exposition, but uh, the Feywild is essentially a parallel plane to the material plane that we're on now. Many of the features are similar across both of them, like the same mountain, the same volcano might be in both places, whereas, but it'll just be a little bit different, like where here it's a volcano with lava spewing out of it, but in the Feywild... It might have, uh, it might be a mountain whose crest is encrusted with giant fire crystals. Oh. Um, since it's kind of a like mirror copy situation, are you telling me that there are copies of ourselves in the <gasps> Fate Wild as well? Oh, oh. Um, no, I'm not oh. saying that at all. Oh. Um, are you sure you could? Of, say it? I mean, I, I could just say it. Okay, sure. will you say it? Thank you. There are probably doppelgangers there. <laughs> what a, my skeletons both turn like and look at him, and like their jaws just drop and fall off. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Rowan gets like a really like far away look on her face because Rowan is a hundred percent one of those people that would like to make out with themselves. So <laughs> she's like really like her life is flashing before her eyes right now. <laughs> but um, it is a lot of the land, like you know, a, a giant city here might. Our city, a bustling city here, might be a, a forest of giant mushrooms, and the sky is alight with faded colors of an ever-setting sun, which never truly sets. It's like walking through a fairy tale. That sounds cool, but also scary, if I'm going to be honest with you. Yes, there are many fey creatures, both good and evil there, so I would, I would be very careful. Do you think there's a chance that someone from the Feywild would want to take Tom Harper and, like, why they might want to do that? The Fey creatures are, are very mysterious and, and hard to understand. Um, there's hags and, and, and you know, ogres and tricksy fairies and pixies and, I mean, all sorts of things. I mean, they don't normally dip into our plane to steal people, but... Who knows? Well, I mean, I think at the very least we have to go and at least explore it, just just to get the snow to stop. I mean, this is this is crazy. Um, yes, this would will probably kill all of us eventually if it just keeps snowing. You guys, you guys have salt? <laughs> I read a book. You could put salt on the roads, and that'll <laughs> melt the ice, or the snow that comes down. True, but so, how would you? Tip. <laughs> Um, I mean, they they say the winter is coming and all, but yeah, uh, so I gotta get moving, get done now. But, you know, <laughs> food and stuff could be yeah. a problem. So, do you have any recommendations for us of how we can prep ourselves for going into the Feywild? I mean, I, I, none of us have been before, and I mean, I, I I I'll be fine because I can travel over any kind of terrain. But these guys, I don't know. And Toby, I mean, look at him. And she like grabs his little cute <laughs> face. <laughs> This baby can um, the the climate is similar to here. Probably not snowing, um, but maybe uh, there is a Fey court, and if you could, if you go to the Fey court, then they might be able to give you more information. Do you think they would kill us? Possibly. Okay. Or maybe <laughs> just take you as pets. I mean, it could be a lot of things. Wait, are fairies small? Uh, well, you probably don't have to worry about the, the fairies as much as some of the bigger creatures. Uh, well, some of the fairies are very magical, though, so hard to say. And, you know, it's like you get all mixed up in there, and time is weird, and and sometimes people come back and they lose their memories. It's a pretty fucked up place. Wow! 
that sounds like real fun and that it could be a little bit of an adrenaline rush. So I'm in. Um, have you ever tripped balls? <laughs> uh, I don't yep. like that. Yep, I have. Right here. <laughs> what? What, kind of, what kind of stuff are you guys getting up to in that monastery, my man? It's, you know, you spend all that time in there studying, everybody else out there drinking, you gotta do something. I mean, I personally have tripped balls un untold number of times, so I'll be fine. I have a large collection of magical balls on the floor of my room, <laughs> and I just trip over those things all the time. <laughs> I really should pick them up. <laughs> I, I should, I should, but too busy studying. Uh, so let's say you guys just hang out at the White Tower for a while, unless you yeah. want to ask any specific questions. I don't think so. Maybe we fast forward until Toby wakes up in the eight hours. You hang out yeah. for eight hours? Wow. Well, what else are we supposed to do? Get supplies! Well, of course that! <gasps> well, we have Shopping to episode! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to fast forward ahead to where you're able to participate in the episode. Oh, I, know, I know from my time, from my short time as a father, that you don't want to <laughs> let him sleep all day because then it's yeah. going to be too close to his bedtime. Oh. He's not going to mm -hmm. sleep well at night. He's gonna and he'll be cranky. Yeah. He's gonna be cranky. We're gonna have to wake him up at like four a.m. to feed him. Yeah. He's not gonna yeah. go back to bed. I have to. I have to sleep eight hours to get my spell slot back, though. All oh right. wait, no. Yes, yeah, so let's just say that. Okay. <laughs> All um, right. They put you on a little couch. You yeah. Can hang out. Have I some food. Probably need three skeletons to carry the couch. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I bring out my other one. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Yep. Mm -hmm. So we're okay. walking around. We're going to the store. We got Toby uh, on a couch carried by three skeletons <laughs> behind us. All right. You get all supplied up, and eight hours passes, and now Toby's awake. Oh, I was sleepy. <laughs> well, it's time to go to do? bed, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been up for an eight and a half hours, the standard day. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Our cycles are off! <laughs> this is very bad. Right after Rowan and I synced up. Oh man. Dang. What'd you guys learn? Toby, we learned so many things that fairies can be mysterious creatures uh -huh. and that they could have stolen Tom for any reason. He turns it's directly away from life. <laughs> Did she say that like she. It's like, you, yeah, it's like you read a book report or like you're reading off of like a Wikipedia page. The grapes of wrath were primarily mean grapes. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows what could have happened to young Tom Harper. <laughs> if, oh, shit. Um, and he looks to Rowan and then he looks... <laughs> and then he looks, Scott, what what you guys been up to? <laughs> Trust me. Oh, we just uh, we just talked to some weirdo about uh, about what goes on in the Feywild and you know what we can expect, and uh, he didn't have a whole lot of useful information for us. <laughs> okay, well, I know all about the Feywild, so I think we're oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. Um, Toby, you ask you questions before did we let you go to sleep? Did you meet with the Fey Court? <laughs> oh, gosh, no. They would treat me a gnome as a hamster, or. What would you guys call it? A dog. A pet? They a said pet. that Even we could better. aspire to be pets. Yeah, if we're lucky. Um, it depends on which fake court you get trapped by, for sure. Uh, I accidentally did the southern thing again. Uh, <laughs> 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 Time we copy Lana's accent. <laughs> mm. Well, yeah. Uh, it, 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 again, I don't know which part of the... Um, when when I went to the, the, the fae, I, I was on the more closer to Glane, and, and, that, and we're here at Pelor. So it, it it could be definitely different. I don't know who rules over. I don't. I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. <laughs> I know a good bit about the Fey Wilds, but I don't know everything. And the politics there, uh, I don't. Even though they don't fair, they don't change quickly. I don't know a lot about it. So, yeah. Well, Toby, uh, you should be able to tell us like what kinds of supplies and stuff we'd need, right? I'm a creature of the Fey. So you're it. You're the supply. <laughs> Actually, I think they changed that for later editions. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Me and you are, are Faye. And then uh, I... I, I, yeah, I don't know where Ganassi are from. I'm sorry. That's additionist history for you. <laughs> Wait. Are we technically still a fourth edition podcast? 
that plays f- 5e because we moved the world into fifth edition Whoa. is 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 fey world in the fifth age oh golly old beans Man. Ooh. What if we revert back to fourth edition yeah. while we're in the Feywild? Uh, <laughs> New characters and everything. everything. I started to get kind of jealous of it. Or like, that sounds like it'd be wrong. really easy to do. Just, you just guys are that. level 24 now. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I have wings. <laughs> I cannot die. Uh, but yeah, um, I, 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 and please don't find it's, don't, it's rude, but I kept my 8th level spell slot because you always need to keep your 8th level spell slot. Um, so, in, in case this comes up again, I can teleport us. If we get into any danger, I can teleport there, and then teleport us back today. But I have to save that eighth level spell slot in case some bad stuff happens. Okay? Like, okay. oh, I uh, I used my eighth level spell slot, and I start curling up on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What? No, we have to go. <laughs> um, 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 okay, so you, you guys got food. You got ropes. Oh, pythons. Wonderful. Um, Toby <laughs> makes sh- that they, sure they buy sticks that are 10 feet long <laughs> that can be assembled. Um, yeah. It's a python. Oh. They're what you put in um, while you're rock climbing. climbing. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Man, I would fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know shit. Uh, I, I guess... I guess, I guess, are you guys ready? Can we hire anyone at the White Spire? You got rid of most of our NPCs, and I miss them. Uh, can we hire anyone at the White Spire as like a guide? That's too annihilation. Where's Frank? Where's Azras? <laughs> Frank is ready to go. And oh my- he's too- and he, oh, has uh, Frank changed his outfit? Please. I-, I hope that Frank is dressed up like a little like, Boy Scout right now. Did I was hoping. He- oh, go ahead, Tim. No, you go ahead. I was just going to ask if he bought extra strength, like SPF 100. Yeah, I, oh, I, I, oh, yeah, 100%. He's, he's got his nose all white and stuff. I hope he has old timey, like, safari yes. outfit yes. on. Yes. Yeah, it's got, like, a net on the back, on the neck to, mm-hmm. like, cover his neck up. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sure. He's got a fanny pack. Sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to find a tracker, a fey tracker at the, you know, those those old things that are everywhere, yeah, the just... White Spire. Do I find one, oh, Michael? What's different out on that? Who? Uh, I don't know if I can, it's, it's a subtle switch between Frank and uh, and Watson. <laughs> <laughs> um, Toby, I, uh, I I don't think I could approve any additional budget uh, expenses Is this right Frank? Now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, what if we could find an intern? Yeah. I'm intern thing. And then so I pull good. out my guild, my um, my letter from uh, the White Spire that says I'm badass. I- I'll show this around. <laughs> Michael, you can say no any time. But, you know. <laughs> but, uh, this is good as money. <laughs> I didn't talk for like two minutes, and I'm freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'll do just fine uh, on our own, Toby. Come on, let's. We got to keep the. Uh, we the, we do all of all that street. have all that gold that uh, we brought along from from my place. I mean, I should have a say in uh, how that's spent, wouldn't you say? Mm, yeah. 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 yeah that's, that's... Get us twelve interns. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, off we go. <laughs> all right, everyone, stand close. The four of us and Frank and twelve interns. I keep trying to readjust the. the... <laughs> Thank no, God the spell only allows you to take eight people. <laughs> All right, so Toby, Rowan, that's two. Frank, that's three. Yeah. Lonnie, Lonnie, four. Some would say. Some would say. Uh, Wait, Scott, what? five. All the skeletons got to go back in my bag. Three skeletons. No, they're what back. If... They're back in my bag of holding. If Lonnie carries Toby, does that count as one? No, nah, I think it's like a soul thing. You know? Oh. oh, which we said earlier that skeletons don't have souls, which oh. Scud doesn't personally believe. <laughs> but, 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 but here we This are. is a mechanics question, not a belief exactly. question, not exactly. an RP thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mechanics don't care about your beliefs. Um, well, dang. Uh, I'm, it says here that the Fae Wild intern is gone. All right, hold hands. Let's can, go. Can we bring the couch? Yeah, my favorite couch. <laughs> Does the couch have hands? <laughs> The couch, does the couch have a soul? Is the question. <laughs> wow, damn. I think so. Okay. What arms. if it's like a magic couch, and that's like, how we get transferred ooh, into? Can the we get a scroll where you can talk to the couch? <laughs> <laughs> the couch is not. Damn it! Welcome 
to the Feywild, where my ancestors are from, I think. I forget. Okay, so you cast you cast the spell and you go. I cast the spell and I go. We can we, we can leave the couch with a sign on it that says free or something. <laughs> <laughs> Which we stole from the, the castle. <laughs> Okay, so um, you you shift planes, most of you, for the first time. Uh, no. Well, I guess that's not true. I guess you don't have to know I'm heaven. Yeah. Um, well, you go to the Feywild for the first yeah. time. And um, and you you appear in the Feywild, and it is immediately not at all what you thought it would be. Okay. It's very dark. Uh-oh. Like um, nighttime dark? Like yeah, like like nighttime dark. Um there are just massive massive trees that are like like skyscrapers almost. Oh. Wow. You don't know what that. They're like white spires. Um hmm. these but, massive trees. Is that uh, the species of tree? No relation. No <laughs> relation. And um but like the leaves are all black and they're like oh, they're s- the foliage is so dense that it's blotting out the sun. I have dark and, vision. Um, is this is everything you... actually black or is it um you know the leaves are black. Gotcha. Um oh. and there seems to be spider webs like hanging from every branch of every tree. Oh, Spooky. Man. Uh Michael, I would have gone to Tom Harper's room and cast this. By the way, that's what I, we all agree that we would have done this. It makes sense that if the Feywild would be just like the regular, like our Drunker Rose, mm-hmm. but like mm-hmm. different things to do it there. So I'm on board yeah. with that. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Okay. I just want to make sure, see if we see any clues. Um, can I have you all give me a perception? Oh, boy. Certainly. I'll be. I got it. Oh, beans. I rolled a 12. Uh, unnatural 20. Uh, 16. And I have dark vision. And I have dark vision. Oh, I got a 22. Plus... I think... Right... Uh, I'll, I'll just have how Dark? Let me check. Yes, I have dark vision. Cool. Bachman, what's your vision like? You're oh, muted. you're muted, my, my oh, dude. Bachman, I miss you. Oh, that, that's why right. nobody heard me get my 28. 25. <laughs> nice. 25. 18 plus 7. You have dark vision? I don't think so. I'm looking. Damn. Uh, I just drew it on my sheet in crayon, so yes, I do. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, you hear skittering noises. Never want to hear. Oh no! Uh, uh, token gosh. Filipino in the chat said it's like the upside down with fairies. Uh, that's pretty accurate. Uh, <laughs> oh, I was thinking it was, this is like Link to the Past. I don't know what that is. It's a video game. It's a video game. No? Okay. <laughs> Somebody out there is gonna get that. Lots of people out there like it. <laughs> people love when we re- reference anything. I think it's like Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I don't believe you on that, but sure, I'll agree. It's like Babylon Five up here. This is just like that episode <laughs> of Murphy star. Brown. <laughs> Someone's going. Oh! Someone's got a car accident because you mentioned Murphy oh, Brown. Hell yeah. <laughs> it is. It's just like that episode of Frasier. It's like the episode of Murphy Brown with a hurricane. Oh damn. Um, what are we doing? Uh, I I I kind of uh, I guess I. Uh, uh, I stand behind uh, um, uh, Lonnie. I kind of like bump into her legs. That's what I do. And I press the digitize lights around us. I want, I want to get one of my. Well, I'll get. Yeah, I'll get one of my skeletons out and ready. Um, I want to give him. I've got a wand of magic missiles. Then I hand to the skeleton <laughs> and command, command, c- command, command him how to use it. And. <laughs> Hey, listen. <laughs> the one, the one on the side of it says has s- scraped into it scud missile. <laughs> nice, that's funny. I like that. Yeah, <clears throat> that's I'm good. Just, yeah, it's good. Uh, okay, it's yeah. So just over, just oppressing darkness. The air just feels thick. And and the skittering. Yeah, I don't and like the skittering. skittering. Do we and we and. Well, do we see obviously spiders um, or whatever? You do not I... see any spiders. 
Can I go towards the skittering? Oh my god. It's I no longer understand you. No. <laughs> I do want around you. <gasps> just like towards like one part of it. Like whatever sure. I hear. If I just hear one that's like right in front of me. I just want to oh, no. go up there. I got my fists ready. I'm Money. always ready. I am the weapon. Money. No. <laughs> it's all right, Toby. Do we see a path or something? Now uh, you're just like in a forest. There isn't a specific path. Ruin, look look for tracks to see if you can find a clue about Yeah, that. yeah, let me do it. Hold on. And then I stand I no longer follow Lonnie because she's a mad woman. <laughs> um sorry, let me look. What can I do? You keep thinking you see something out of the corner of your eye, and you turn around really fast, and there's nothing there. I can't catch it. So am I just like in the <laughs> woods, like <sighs> <laughs> Pretty much. running around in circles? <laughs> I love it. This is perfect. Um, the skeleton is like you know, kind of like he's he's like literally got his head on a swivel, and it's just going like three sixty as he scans. Made a turn. <laughs> So how does, like, tracking, is that, like, an action within D&D? Like, how does that work? Uh, I think you use survival to, okay. to track stuff. And I just want to point out that my favorite enemies are undead and aberrations, just in case. Just in case. Just Would in case. we have brought, like, one of Tom Harper's underpants or something like that? Not his underpants. Oh, that's okay. weird. But, like, maybe, like, a sock. A sock. Got it. Um... So you could either do an investigation to find tracks okay. or you do a survival. Yeah, can I do what is better for me? Let me just sur survival, I guess. Or na nature? Does that work? Or no? Um, is your nature better than your survival? Yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's probably, it really kind of has to be either investigation or... Okay, no, that's fine. I'll do survival then. Um, yeah. Tim, I know you're stacking these things, but I need to use this area to roll, so... Oh, fun. Ooh, nice. Uh, 22. <clears throat> uh, you definitely find, uh, I mean, they're kind of old at this point, but you definitely do find tracks. Um, I would say with that roll, you, you, uh, feel like you see um like a woman's uh oh, set okay. of prints uh they're going classic woman's prints yeah oh look at these a woman's the dropping of a woman oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um and let me say too as as a ranger uh, uh using my unearthed Ar arcana style of ranger i says while tracking other creatures you also learn their exact number their sizes and how long ago they passed through the area nice um so yeah so there are there are tracks coming this way essentially that make them would make you feel like they would line up with somebody um transporting to they actually it's kind of it it seems more like the reverse to you like somebody came here and transported Ooh. to the prime material plane from huh. from here did they switch places or they or maybe they teleported another area yeah huh uh, well, uh, I gotta be honest. I'm not sure what to do with this information right now. I, I, Crap. I, we know that someone came here, but I think that's kind of all the clues we have right now. Mm -hmm. Well, Rowan, um, can you just Frank to... here? Uh, okay, hey. I'm kind of uh, working on my slew thing. I'm trying to be a member, uh, yeah, a sure. good, strong member of the team. Um, if you found that that attuned fork in uh tom's room wouldn't that mean wouldn't they not go when they need that to go to the feywild oh motherfucker oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait what god damn it should we not have come here he's right <laughs> <laughs> but what if we just stayed here i mean they could have multiple or That's they could have like gone somewhere else and then come back into the Fey, like they didn't have to bring Tom directly from here. Frank, it sounds like you've got insider information. Yeah, Frank. <laughs> what do you I'm know? just trying to be a valuable member of the team. Because <laughs> I hate to admit it, but he, he's got really good information. He makes right a now. really good point. 
So what do we do now? I'm just all caught up with the 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 face stuff. Should we just try to find a trail and walk? Because we can just teleport back anytime, right, right. Toby? Okay, what? so why don't yeah. we? We're here. We might as well enjoy the. Yeah we, yeah, we might as well spend eight hours here in beautiful Feywild. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you definitely can follow the tracks. Okay, yeah, let's, let's follow these tracks. Right. Wait, the tracks you... end here, but like you could follow them back. Yeah. To track to see the yeah. force of the tracks. Uh, let's follow these tracks. Rowan, Rowan okay. is crawling on the ground and sniffing as if she was a dog. <laughs> also, it, since time is different, couldn't it be that like we might only be gone for like two minutes in Drunk Roast, but we could be gone for eight hours in the Feywild? Yeah. Ooh, maybe. Or we're gonna get I'm back. It's been ten years. Oh no. <laughs> well, <laughs> Toby too needs his medicine. This uh, this phenomenon of the Feywild explains why Bananas Foster was sold. Oh man. Oh wow, <laughs> so true. See it all comes exactly. full circle. It makes it so it makes so much Hashtag sense. Hashtag it's all connected. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I guess we just start following the tracks, correct, guys? Yeah. I'm down with this. Um, carefully, of course. Carefully, Quietly. of course, of course, because I'm a ranger as I track, I stay <coughs> alert to danger. Okay, can everyone give me a perception for you, Michael? Anything I love you. I rolled Nine. a nat 20 plus 10, so a 30. <gasps> Shit. Wow, what great rolls we're all rolling! <laughs> I'm not even gonna do the math on my roll. <laughs> I did it for you. <laughs> 19. Toby? Uh, nine. Oh. And what? Thirteen. Well, uh, you guys, Toby and Scud are about to walk into this huge spider web. Look. <laughs> and um, Lonnie grabs them both and uh, stops them from just heading right into it. Oh, Lonnie, thank you so much. I would have gone all sticky. Oh, you're welcome. You can get sticky for other reasons now. <laughs> uh, you notice that there are like a bunch of like sort of big bundle-y kind of things in spider webs. Like, oh, no. Like, are they uh, people sized? They're people sized generally. Oh, are, are they squirming? Didn't this happen in Lord of the Rings? My, yeah. Uh, <laughs> she lob. Michael, oh, I man. would. I, I'd say probably. My skeleton wouldn't know to stop, and nobody would have stopped him. Oh no! Uh, yeah, he walks right into it. Oh no! One of the bundles is squirming. Oh jeez! <gasps> oh, we should open it. Yeah. Okay. What? Um, <laughs> but before you open it, uh, all, all coming from all around you, uh, there are pony-sized spiders. Uh, I love ponies. <laughs> and hello they, my name's toby toby Treagletart. and i think uh we'll roll initiative nice next time dun, dun, dun. Okay, so hear me out we capture all of the spiders and okay. we take them to a fairground and hook them uh -huh. up to like a carousel <gasps> that you can yes. get spider rides i love it i love it i love it little... michael we, instead of fighting let's do that yeah i mean we could the spiders love it too you can try to subdue them yeah. Next or, time. Next, next time. time. Or, or seduce them. Uh, oh I know that we don't often do this, but I was hoping if it's okay with everybody, I have a, the reverse hiccups. If I could um, read a little bit of feedback. Oh, please do. Yeah. I guess just this once. Okay. Um, let me scroll because I wasn't, I was like, oh, they're going to say no. They're going to cuss at me. Um, yeah. So, as we've always said, uh, leaving a review on either iTunes or Stitcher, I believe, is the best way, one of the best ways to help us f um, get new random fans. The best way to get new fans is for you to tell your friends, but if you don't have any friends, or if you told all your friends, Not everybody has to, to have friends. friends. You don't have to have friends. We're your friends. We're your best friends. Geek of yeah. 2018. Uh, Bad Dates Band from Canada <laughs> says, Great! Uh, good day, mate. Amazing podcast. The DM is great. Hilarious storytelling and clever world building. Thank you so much. Walls Because USA says, Review for you. Thanks for hours upon hours of delicious, delicious content. Preteen DM back in the day. So y'all get me in my bones. Meg K. Dawn says, Energizer Bunny, 
of funny. They just keep going. Call me bloodied. I'm the true tank. I can take hit after hit. Even when I'm a thousand plus pounds, stallion rears up and paws me in the head after the e- an ER visit. And six staples later, oh. I'm back at work. And this podcast was funny enough. I was still laughing. I thought that was like an analogy. But the more I read it, it was like, this person got kicked. In he the face. <laughs> literally got kicked by a horse. Wow. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm glad we could help a little bit. Uh, Becky Teal says, epic. Never played Drunks and Dragons before and never... Ooh, oh. we, we got a Nick over here. Uh, <laughs> and never thought I would want to. My husband listened to this podcast and bugged me until I listened to it. And I'm so glad he did. Darian K says, funny, inspiring, and heart-wrenching. I just finished the last episode and I'm not quite sure what to do with myself. This podcast has really helped me pass the time while at work or during long car rides. In the last few months, my coworkers have questioned my sanity and I've ugly cried more times than I'd like to admit. I'm looking at you, Nika. <laughs> but I wouldn't have it any other way. DJ Eddie G from Canada says, Great show today, mate. Just re- recently uh, started listening from the beginning. I'm only about 50 episodes in, and I'm excited to have so much ahead of me because I've loved what I've heard so far. Uh, Jay Ocean says, Do it. Best D&D. Thegulapus says, 231 episodes is a lot to catch up on, but it's worth it. Found this podcast when they were releasing episode 231. While it's taken me nearly four months to catch up, wow, the characters and storyline have kept me coming back episode after episode. Good Soil says, I wish I could quit you. No matter how many times I try to stop listening to you, I keep coming back for more. Not sure what that means, but I like it. Ooh, look at this long one. Oh, my, oh go- my wow, goodness. Wow, that's like a page. That's like a page. My goodness. Ryan Asaurus says, my favorite podcast. I've been listening to Drunks and Dragons for almost a year now at work, and I finally almost caught up. Episode 228 as I'm typing this. My husband actually started listening first and convinced me to listen, even though I never really cared about D&D before. Well, that has changed now. This weekend, I'm, DM- I'm DMing my first game. Nice. And I can safely say that you guys are the inspiration behind it. Aww. Thank you so much. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I love all the peer pressure that happens between uh, significant others and yeah. friends being like, listen to this podcast. <laughs> it's funny. Thanks for it. Uh, Terror Penguin says, I like this podcast. It makes my ears happy. Valhalla or Bust says, look no further. I cannot give this podcast enough praise with an, an intricately crafted world built by the very supportive yet still realistic DM. The cast creates lovable characters that capture your attention and keep it. Clearwater Calf and Connor says, Good day, mate. Hilarious enough, you'll forget about your paranoia over being stalked. 10 out of 10 fantastic podcast. Would recommend to anyone whether or not they have a stalker. Seriously, oh <laughs> though, despite me trying to find humor in a stressful situation, this podcast is legitimately wonderful and funny and makes me very happy. The cast are all amazing, and I'm so thankful for the effort they've put into creating this brilliant thing. If you have any doubts with, about listening, put them aside. If this podcast can't make you laugh, you just must not have a sense of humor. <laughs> oh, okay, bye. The United States has an amazing podcast. I love this podcast so much. Everything Geeks League touches in gold. Hi. Tim, Jennifer, Nika, Mike, and Michael have wonderful habit of making my day and making me laugh with every episode. They Bitch. didn't mention me in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Mike. 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 I'm Bachman. It's a Bachman. It's Bachman. It's, you know, okay. Okay. <laughs> Bitch tits flyed <laughs> says. Nice. Um, two Dragonborn boners way, way up. Tired Queer says, awesome. This is by far my favorite D&D podcast. I love the cast interactions with each other and the story they're all in and even the bad raps. Great to hang out <laughs> or drive to. Masochist Demon says, long overdue redude review. First off, sorry, Tim, for being so late on a review. Don't be mad. Second of all, hey, Nika, your Twitter buddy, George here. Bag of, I'm going to stop now. Uh, is that fine? Sure. Sure. Got sure. Somewhere. Got to stop somewhere. All right, then. Um, oh, that's me. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us, we're on Twitter. We're at Geekly Inc. or at D&D Podcast. I'm at Thrifty Nerd. I'm at Tim Lanning. I'm at Jennifer Cheek. I'm at Nika underscore Howard. I'm at the Mike Bachman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the, the poor baby. There's, there's so much business going on there it's bedtime oh. didn't get your fill of action and adventure in this episode of drunks and dragons we'll make sure to head up to geeklyinc.com where you can find other thrilling podcasts the hottest nerd news fan art to make you blush and gear to level up your adventuring quest 
When you've finished taking a nap to recharge your spells, head on over to Apple Podcast or your other podcast app of choice to leave us a five-star rating and review. Also, don't forget to head over to patreon.com slash dandypodcast. Once you become a patron, you have access to exclusive content like ad-free episodes that you won't be able to find anywhere else. Every pledge helps us keep growing and makes the show better with each episode. Also, don't forget to join us on twitch.tv slash geeklyinc for our international tabletop 24-hour charity stream. This year, we'll be benefiting the Alzheimer's Association. New episodes come out every Monday, so go subscribe, get your quest log filled, and get ready for things to get dicey. Thank you, everybody. We will be back next week. Until then, keep it dicey. And stop the next part. All right, thanks, Michael. Do you think you can do another Bachman? Not the end of the world, but it's just going to be a battle episode next time, and you know, no peer pressure here. Not, not huge deal. It's up to you. We love you. (laughs) We support you. Uh, You sound fine to me. (laughs) As he, as he's literally (laughs) like making horrible sounds from Mm -hmm. his throat. No worries. No I feel worries. Like that was, I feel like that was a really good episode. I think we all did a great job, but like, but I would, if, if people are, are low energy and not feeling well and think we're not going to, you know. <sighs> I personally feel like I was having a hard time getting into my character tonight and I kept just being Jennifer slash slipping into things a loser would do. Yeah. I don't know why. I like couldn't get my brain on correctly. I, I mean, if. <laughs> we don't need to do one. Yeah, I wouldn't. Love. I don't think we should force it. If yeah, let's not. We can, we can make it work. Um, it is well. Oh yeah, well, we can make it work. We should probably try to do one like as soon as we can again. Yeah. Or, yeah, we'll have to do it on a Thursday after pack. Oh, I, that would be our normal recording day anyway, right? True. Yeah, because yeah. Tim and I are moving this next month, and I feel like things are gonna get fucking crazy. Yeah. So. We do the twelfth. I think the twelfth is the next one, right? Mm-hmm. That's great. And you promise not to be sick. <laughs> Just don't fucking do I, it. I, I you promise will not be. I promise you, <laughs> I will not be sick. If you're let sick, me, let me double check. That I don't have a work thing. I'm gonna like freaking. Fast. It's like I the Team America was like, I promise, I will never <laughs> die. <Or> die. <laughs> Man, I feel like. I randomly will just think of shit from Team America World Police. Like sometimes I'll just say, No me gusta. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that part where the guys yeah. get washed away in the flood? Um sorry, let me check my words. I sense really anger. <laughs> that movie's funny. I wonder if it holds up. Like, that's, I don't know, it's been so long since I've seen it. We've if you don't hear pretty tweet. recently. Oh yeah, how was it? I, we thought it was funny, but to be fair, like we watch jackass movies on a pretty <laughs> like regular basis because yeah, and you really love humor. weed, so it, you're just like, <laughs> oh. um, if anyone's in Boston for PAX East, oh, I'm gonna be there. No, you, you, no, you son not. of a bitch! Stop it! Did you, did you have like a fleeting moment? Like, no, I did. I got excited for a second. I knew you weren't. <laughs> um, I, actually, guys, I think that actually us recording on the twelfth will be better because I cannot do the nineteenth. So. Well, so that okay. gets us back on track. All right, good, good. So uh, Twitch, our next live episode will be on the 12th. Oh, my God, we will be moved. Okay, so that means the 12th, and then the next time, we our new apartment. <laughs> ah! It's very exciting. I'm so scared. <laughs> we have a lot of work to do. No. No, you don't even have to pack. You tell the movers, like, all right, buds, do it. And they walk in. And they're going to be like, Put your shit too in fucking, <laughs> there's so much shit in here, I'm leaving. I feel like I've heard people talk about that happening. They're going to be like, you fucking nerds. That's what they're going to say. Why is, they have like three pop figures. Like, why do you got so many anime figurines? And like, stop fucking judging me. And okay? why are their lips all rubbed off? <laughs> Listen, Greg. <laughs> stop judging me. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'll see you guys. I'll see some of you on Wednesday night. Nice. Yeah, I'll see baby. some of you next Thursday night. Wow. Wow. What time do we get out? Have fun at ways. PAX. Yeah. You know what? We're going to. There's so we've gotten so many emails for cool games that there's, there's like a, a lot of games this time. It's weird as shit. I hate it. What's happening? They're so cool. Um Yeah. Yeah. All right. I look forward I look forward to next week. Yeah. Give me, uh, t- give me tons of swag. Just be real unprofessional about it. Super shitty. Like every We're game, really every game we go to see, be like, "What do you got for me?" 
Hey, can I have that? This <laughs> controller? Yeah, can no, I have that? No, we know what we need to say. Like, this isn't for our friend Botman. He's sick. He's sick. He's sick. <laughs> he's very sick. He's sick. He's sick. He might he's a be dad dying. And he's sick. He has a cold. <laughs> he's apparently, sick. apparently, GDC is full of the dope swag. That's what we There's like, do. it's like what people think that PAX is like. Yeah, like, PAX does not really have much swag. Yeah, sometimes I'll get a shirt or a pin. Charlie yeah. brought home like eight Fortnite shirts. Damn. <laughs> Literally a pile of those, them. Those are sleeping shirts right there. Somebody get me an Edgelord scarf, PAX scarf. <laughs> I do occasionally see those like around the city and I'm like... The PAX scarf? PAX scarf. Yeah. Um, I'll get you a deck of magic cards because I feel like they usually do give those out for free somewhere. Yeah. A mini deck. Don't don't because I just gave away all my magic cards. Oh, you did? I'm gonna yeah. Start to give it a mind now that we're moving. Well, because like I've only got one dude who will actually play with me ever. Oh. And so I was just like, and he actually plays with other people. So I was like, here, here's everything I have. You just have bring fun. decks over and yeah, <laughs> that's smart. With your shit. Yeah, I might give all mine away. Maybe I geeky con. I don't know, or just give them to Harry. Yeah. Or burn them. Burn them. Burn them. They got the devil in them, so that's probably for the best. Yeah. Oh, for got sure. The devil out. All right. All right, my friends. Love Good you. job, Good everybody. Bye. 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 Thank you for running. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bet y'all were thinking this was going to be one of those Twitch streams where they forget they're streaming. You thought wrong!